What's going on, y'all? This is your Days of Our Live review before for December 18, 2015. Let's jump on into it, shall we? So Andre still thinking this little big idea and plan he got should have work out for the good for him. Andre, you on the beating your head on the wall. Give it up, hunt but homeboy. Cause just playing you got in motion that's not gonna work and it's not gonna look good on you. So Raccoon got the balls to come up here to Kayla Doe. Tell my hey Kayla, nice knowing you. How you been? And Kayla ain't, and Kayla ain't backing up. Kayla said, ain't nice enough to see your ass. Like, what the fuck you doing here to my goddamn doll? Now that I know why that bitch there for, I see why I kind of give her hostility. Cause, bitch, you didn't cause a lot of hatred and, I mean, a lot of tra traumatic events in that woman's life. And if I was Kayla, I would have punched your ass in the face, then closed the door in your face and called the police. And I'm telling my punch you in your face. So be. Oh, brother, here comes Joe. I mean, uh, Justin. Oh, why did they get him this fucking DA job? Seriously, the, the writers need to be be to be on fire for this. And the writers need to be fired for this, giving Justin this DA job. Some heads need to be chopped off, because I don't see why they made him DA. He about the most annoying DA ever. So Chad confused that Abigail walking in all smiles, talking to him, and he all lost days and confused. Andre then fucked that man, then fucked Chad brain up. So he wonder what the fuck this bitch is talking about. I'm pretty sure he finna snap at her at any time. I tell her to get the hell out of she finna do this little cry, and she probably finna end up. Crying and being hurt up oh, and here it come. He said we need to set something straight. Here it go, Chad for the cut Abigail ass out. Okay, John and Eduardo. Y'all talking a little bit too goddamn freely. And Eduardo, you telling some um personal bidding that shouldn't be tell. Don't let no find a bullet in your ass now. I advise you to shut the fuck up. You telling that John too much information there. You better keep your goddamn mouth shut. Now I know you trying to warn John, but you talking too much, homeboy. I hate to see him put a good bullet in your ass. That's a good one, Steve. Threaten that punk bitch, Justin. Good job. Uh oh, uh oh. Ava, look, honey, I know you a home record. I know you probably want to get back with Steve or you want to break them back up again. But, honey, I don't think you finna get what you want with this little faking ass illness shit. Now, that'd be funny what the fuck you got you trying to play that you got. You end up catching. God, that's some fucked up shit. You in the break up somebody else happy home. The lot of time you got some fucking unknown disease. Now don't cry to me now when you catch that shit. Oh! 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 Kayla said bring your sorry ass back here. Go ahead now nah, Kayla. I ain't want to see you crunk but I want to see you crunk on that bitch. Go ahead now nah, Kayla. Oh Lord, here go Andre brainwashing skills. Now he talking to Abigail like she's some bitch off the street again. <laughs> I'm, wow, I'm not surprised by this. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh Jesus. Okay, Abigail. I already have a family. I don't think you understand, or maybe I can make myself clear. My family. Oh, said Abigail getting tell off is kind of funny, you know. She kind of deserved this shit. Oh, the hell, she didn't do it. Well, it feels and she killed me how she tried to act so shocked and so hurt. Now, it's like this ain't the first time Chad didn't told her about her mama, but yet she still be shocked and surprised. 
So Justin tried to hit back, tried to snap, tried to snap back at um at Justin. I mean at Steve by telling him, "Hop, motherfucker, you can't talk." Hell, your ass did the same thing I did. Only I cheated on my hoe. You only you left your hoe. So how you gonna call me the part and you the killer? So Steve said, "Motherfucker, it ain't happen like that. You need to get you some motherfucking business. You the one cheated, bitch. I ain't cheat." So we better sit around and throw jabs at each other. Speaking of the DA's office, oh the Lord, he go Justin trying to th make sure the police department runs very smoothly. Okay, Justin. Yeah, got okay, now you're just annoying now. He he go throwing his DA power around. Be very careful not to interfere with the Salem PD. Boy, bye. Adrian told me about Justin. She didn't say you turned into a pompous ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you said it, not me, Steve. I pump his ass. Oh shit! Uh oh. Uh oh. Kayla slapped the shit out of her. Kayla, I'm gonna need you to get a little crunk right now. This old okay to destroy your relationship. Girl, you about to get blotted in there. She ain't your house. Lord, Kayla finna let this bitch beat her in her own house. If they start to the fight, Kayla gonna lose. Oh, Jesus. Kayla, why is I'm getting crunk for you, honey? I don't think if she swung it to you a swine bag. You probably all uh, hauling and try to run, wouldn't you, Kayla? I told you what you needed to hear. Oh, Jesus. It's not what you said. Ooh, he just called I Abigail a mess. How many what days have I said that? <laughs> what you said that made me know you loved me. It's what you did. I did what I needed. Oh, shit. Ben, can get I can punch Andre in the face for doing this. But another thing, the writers did this. Oh yeah, and another thing, which one of y'all fast up? Which one of y'all had the nerve to tweet Andre? To eat the tweet, um, the person that played Andre on Twitter sending him hate mail, cause he had posted a comment about talking about some y'all sending me hate mail. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about, I just got the character they told me to play. Don't get mad at me. So now he trying to throw the hate on Dave because they wrote his character like that to mess with Chad. We're trying to y'all tweet Andre and wrote him hate mail. Tweet him hate mail. Y'all gonna make that man deactivate. Y'all know y'all men can't handle that pressure. Y'all putting on him because of Chad. And this shock, and he say the same words he say every damn time. I can't be with you. I'm not the way, not the way you want it. Yeah, fucking right. And Abigail looking shocked, dazed, and confused as usual, about to cry. And then she just push him. Now she crying, girl. Bye. <laughs> okay, Abigail. Lord, do we supposed to believe that that Chad still a brain rush around here walking around like he a robot looking for the man from Andre? Are we really supposed to believe this? He don't, shh. Anything for a fucking book. Really, Andre? You ought to be a fucking damn shame of yourself. You don't do this to your brother because your brother told you hell no. So you going to involuntarily force him to help you out. Therefore, you can get this damn money and feel defined again. You and Steph, well, Steph, you know, say he ain't going along with this fucking plan. So, Andre, it's on you now. So you going to do all of this to get back a damn dollar. Really, Andre? Y'all wouldn't last a day without if y'all went back what rat fucking now. I guarantee you y'all wanna survive y'all wanna survive a whole day. Cause y'all so used to having that damn money. Child, she ain't finna force no 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 um doctor no for your ass, Kayla. Child. My doctor says that I only have a few months to live. Okay, Ava, keep on playing out there, fake ass ears and shit. The, the Lord have been known to throw that shit on your ass, what you playing like. And I can't wait to hear what kind of disease you got this time. Yeah. This diagnosis. Child. So why are you there? To try to get one more night for with, with Steve for you dying? Kayla, don't fall for that bullshit. You better beat that bitch ass and throw her out your house. 
Andre, before this, this um thing in between you and trying to get these dollar bears and spent more hateful tweets, you better start blocking people, Andre. <laughs> Got people that not liking what you doing to Chad, and they want you to know it, even though you had no control over that. Tell him if he comes near my mother. Y'all gonna make that ugly man cry on Twitter. Girl, what makes you think she gonna believe you, eh? Ooh, ooh. There goes Steve. What the hell are you doing here? Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Steve, not happy to see you need the Ava. <laughs> Jesus. What is Steve doing? Lord, Steve done got the woman in that. Oh, oh, if she didn't fake past out, Steve gonna throw her ass out the door. Mm-mm-mm. So Steve up in a grab and throw her ass out his door. Wood style. Throw his ass, throw her ass out the door. She pretend like she didn't pass. Like she know Steve and I throw her ass out that goddamn door. She a good actress. I give her that. She playing this fake ass illness all the way to the near degree. The Go on head now, Ava. So Eduardo finally get the balls to go talk to Gabby and ask can he give Abby get can ask can he give uh, so he decides to I ain't not star my day I'm trying to throw So Eduardo ends up talking to Gabby and so with him talking to Gabby he asks her you mind if I drop up a love print for Ari Gabby says no, not unless you can stand and get to know us better. So Gabby went to try to, to be the father figure, whatever she trying to get her relationship with him. But I'm pretty sure Ref not going to enjoy none of this. Which I said, Ref, you need to grow the fuck up and go ahead and let that girl do what she going to do. Oh my gosh. Chad trying to convince Belle and him, her helping him. And not only that, Miss Abigail walks in to see him holding hands with Belle. And Abigail is about to freak the fuck out. Jesus Lord. But that was a little cute little episode for the day. Like this video, share this video, comment, let me know what episode, what part of the, what scenes made you laugh today, what scenes pissed you off, and what scenes did you enjoy today. Follow me on all my social media you see down there in the bottom bar, and I'll see you later, and make sure you have a good weekend, man.